happy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? So hello and welcome back, I'm the Gaming Beaver and this is another episode of Tormenting Beagles. No, it's not, it's Jurassic Park. Build it. No, it's not, it's Jurassic World again. In fact, actually, I've heard rumors that a Jurassic Park Operation Genesis sequel, or at least a official sequel is coming out called Jurassic World Builder. I highly suggest you look into this because I have not. It's just word of mouth. I've heard about it uh, and I would love there to be a another one. Um, I mean, we've got so many coming. We've got a uh, Mesozoic up here, Star Kingdom. Uh, I think Saurian sort of, but not, not quite. But there is just so many and it would be really nice to have that accompanied with also a Jurassic World Builder, like an actual Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, made by, I don't know, who, whoever, I don't, apparently it's coming out in 2016, so I'm hoping January 2016, because that'd be awesome. So, uh, oh, we are going to do today, I'm just going to quickly collect all my coins. Actually, wait, no, we're going to do the free pack first. Oh, ten bucks. A journalism, I don't know if I like her, I can't remember what she asks for. Level up a dinosaur to 22. Now you can level up a dinosaur to 22 or over. So if I have a dinosaur that is level 20 or higher. Yeah, you see here. There we go. We've got no Zootoceratops. Done! And I can't remember how much that was. 10 bucks! Meh. It's okay. It's not the best. So we're gonna level up all the. Sorry, collect all the coins from these guys. And you, and you, and you. And today, we're going to be doing more spinny wheels and also getting another hybrid. Oh, yes, that's right. You may notice that my coins have went down. And look, what was that? I got Diplodocus and an Ankylosaurus. What could he be planning? Oh! Right. So that's enough to make a level 20. We need, um... Ooh, we'll get more of those. There's Indominus. Good old Indomi. Uh, we'll get a free... No, not a free. Yeah, we've got free Ankylosaur. And we need one more Ankylosaur. And that's it. We can get an Ankylodocus and see what that can do. Anc uh, you know, it's funny going from hybrid, how much they cost, like 8,000 DNA, and then going to normal ones, which is like 1,000. And I think I've sort of lost focus. Like, hybrids cost a lot for good reason. But I've sort of taken that into account as that's what everything costs. But it's not. It's just the fact that I've got everything. So I'm sort of at the stage where I need just a couple of things left. And I'm complaining that I can't get them. <laughs> but really, there's, there's no biggie. Oh, 112 bucks. Oh, yeah, I'm going to speed that up. I don't care. i got so many bucks I don't know what to do with. And once I've got all of these guys, then... Um, and I don't need to spend bucks on speeding anything up, then... Pretty much sorted. I'm just gonna be gathering books. All the books I'm spending now, I'm gonna get back. With three missions, and hopefully when they make more missions. So, a, a level 40 Ankylosaur is what we're gonna get, as well as a level 40 uh, Diplodocus. That makes a level 10 Ankylodocus. Um, I tell you what, right? Ankylosaur is not one of my favorite dinosaurs. And it's probably for the reason that when I was a kid, I had a friend. And, you know, like, I, when I was a kid, dinosaurs was my thing. Like, nobody else really liked dinosaurs. Um, or didn't know as much about dinosaurs. So I felt like a kind of privilege and an ownership over knowing most about dinosaurs out of everybody that I knew. And then there was this one kid who uh, all of a sudden came out of the closet. Well, not really. Came out of the closet about uh, liking dinosaurs and knowing lots about them. And his favorite was um, Ankylosaur. Uh, but he was he was at the stage where he knew their like Latin names and he could he could say like a bit like how everybody knows Spinosaurus Aegypticus or whatever because it's in Jurassic Park three. But he knew all of them. He knew like all the Latin names and everything. And I was like, I d I, I don't know that. <laughs> that's like that's like a step beyond what I could do as a kid. I mean I knew loads, but I didn't know stuff like that. And I was just like, and his favorite dinosaur was Ankylosaur. I was like. No, I don't like a Kylosaur. Stupid. <laughs> because I had this sort of like jealousy, uh, like little kid jealousy because all of a sudden he knew more. Even though like, he, he, I don't know, everyone sort of knew me as that dinosaur guy. 
Uh, this is in primary school, bear in mind. <laughs> so that's why I was a bit like childish own it of having an ownership over dinosaurs. Because that would be stupid if I was like a YouTube channel. It's like, no, dinosaurs are my thing. Nobody else can do it. Because that's silly. We're, we're grown people, darling. Ah, yeah. So we got three stars. Oh my god, he was just about to do a headbutt. Do a headbutt. Oh, sorry, can I see that animation again? Where he's. I love how his feet go in the air for that second. Ready? Three, two, one. Wee! 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 <laughs> That's a nice. You could see in the animation when uh, animators were doing that, that would have been uh, one of the blocked keyframes. Just like, get that lovely stretch in and then do out the rest. So I've got so much food as well. Also, the reason why I don't really want to level this guy up, and the only reason I'm doing it is to um, is to get the ankle dock, is, is because I don't like its final evolution form. It turns into like a horny slug. And I think those things exist. I know horny snail exists. Uh, I don't know about slug. Oh, look at that! One go! Can we get that lucky with a level 40? I hope so. Whap, whap, brrrr. God, you make a horrible noise. Like, it's like somebody throwing up. So let's see what it can do at level 30. And then we only have the Coolosaurus, and I'm quite glad that Coolosaurus is going to be the last one that I get. Because it's the one I, except for Dominus, the one I'm most excited for. So what can you do at level 30? 715 health, 183 attack. Uh, for some it's, you know what it is, most things that are like the same category have similar attack and similar health. And I guess that makes sense, because they are the same category for a reason. But also, it sort of defeats the purpose. It's like, oh, he's a silver, so he's got to be exactly the same as everything. And bear in mind, there are some which have more health and more attack than the rest, but it's not much. It's not like in Jurassic Park, but oh, one shot! Oh, beautiful! It was meant to be five star. Ah, oh, look at it, it's atrocious. It's got like a horny mustache. So, oh, Jesus, look at it. It's like a little tangerine. So let's level it up. What could you do at level 40? Over a thousand health, I'm guessing. Oh, just, just, and there it is, the beautiful fuse. Oh, wow. And then, you know, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Let's get uh, Diplodocus now. I'm gonna level up, I level up a Diplodo. And the other ones. I think I prefer Diplodocus in its original, like the way it looked before. Now he's just all wrinkly. It was either, if I could see the old one, because I haven't seen it in a while, it was either I like this one or I hate it. I don't like it as much. It's one or the other. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. I get a level 40 evolution d completed in one. But no, a level 20. Nah, nah, not gonna do it. So. At level 40, this will be a 4 star, because it's a rare. So level you up. I get these, I get these creatures for like 2 seconds, and then they're fused. Ah, oh, no, but a level 30 instantly. Oh, come on! Level 40 instantly, let's go. Let's do this. Rubbish! And you? Level 30, and come on, here we go, first time. Oh, of course not. <laughs> oh, no, not this. Ah, oh, you know, dude, second time's a charm. Now, let's see what it looks like maxed up. Ooh, it's more blue. It's actually quite nice. I sort of want to keep it, because all of these guys are maxed. And it's a sauropod hotel. But I guess I can switch to Plodocus for an Ankylodocus. Yeah, I, I guess I could. I'll do that. Oh, wow, lovely colors. Really nice. It's a shame I'm gonna lose it in a second. And there you go. 527 health, 135 damage. And 3,000, no, 37,000 in four hours. Not bad. <gasps> Who's a pretty girly? And um, now we have to say goodbye to our newly fused dinosaurs to make a hybrid abomination. Let's go! <gasps> 350 DNA, speeding up 80. I don't even want to know how long these take hatch times when I get like a normal DNA sort of thing. Look at it, they're all highlighted red. It looks like it's horrible chemically science with the smell of plastic in the lab and morals thrown out the window left of the door. 
Oh, first time! Well, I guess I'm gonna spend that much. It better be. Okay. Two star. Looks like a Diplodocus. Tastes like a toe, but it's a breakfast cereal. Oh, okay. I mean, I put it there. Agalodocus is now available to purchase in the dinosaur market. So we'll see how much that costs. But first, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at the tail. Ah, look at that. It's got a tiny little club tail. It's puny. That thing. You know, I had a lion toy when I was younger. And it had a tail like that. And for some odd reason, I'd like to twist it. I, I don't know. I just like to twiddle it. And it eventually came off. It just snapped because the plastic was terrible. Wow. He's got like um, the warts of Saltosaurus. I think Saltosaurus. And the tail of... Um, is it Peltosaurus or something like that? It's, it no, there is a sauropod with a sort of club tail. But that that is just puny. That's What's the point in that thing? His head's interesting. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Stroke my little head. So we'll feed it. See what it can do. Is it more than a thousand or is it going to be split down the middle? Actually, yeah, it is. It's sort of split down the middle. I guess this is what you get when you merge a super rare and a rare. Sort of better than a Diplodocus, but not as good as Ankylosaur, at least for level 10. You put two together, however. Oh. Oh, God. Let's do this. So, we're going to put you... Oh, no, I didn't climb from my buildings. My little power generators. No, I didn't even get them. Awful. So, the only thing we need now is to buy... Four Sarcosuchuses. Now, how much are four? How much are four? Four, four, four. Because I don't have any just ready to waiting. I'm guessing it's about 3,000. Yeah. So, I could buy two. I will need 12,000 DNA to get a Coolosaurus. Plus, the extra to evolve them. And to also evolve the Coolosaurus itself, which is like 350. So, I'm going to need about... 15,000 DNA. 15,000 DNA, thereabouts. So, probably by the next time I record this, we'll have Coolosaurus. Then after that, we're probably going to start saving. So, let's see what Ankle and Darkest can do. Before that, I'm going to get one for free, though. Uh, who? Who? I kind I like doing the comments when I play this, because I, by the time I finish, I can set another one off, and then I just get rid of loads of them. We're gonna do the challenge. Where are you, Angular Ducks? Oh, there you are. Wow, you got, you got more, way more health. You got way more health. About, about nine less attack, but 140 extra health. I think I'd rather have the 140 extra health. Um, should we do a full-on hybrid team? Let's do a full-on hybrid team. What can we come up against? I think hybrids at level 10 are the best. For averaging down to. I always feel like I get the advantage. When I come against uh, the PC. Who tries to average my hybrids. Because I've only got two stars. Uh, actually that's quite even. That's quite even. I mean we do have the advantage. Because we've got one level on there. Ankylodocus. But we have Spinoraptor. And Spinoraptor is not going to have a problem killing these. Because they're all herbivores. Going to have a whale of a time. A land whale of a time. <laughs> That's right, keep that joke going. Come on, what you gonna do, para? You can't kill me into it, so it doesn't go for it. Um, I kind of, I want to see Ankylodocus win, though. So if Spineraptor gets to the stage where he can just wipe them all out, I'll do that and then probably fodder it off. What? Seriously? Nothing? Well, okay then. You must really be under pressure. Keep going for the blocks and wasting them. Come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna attack at all? No? Really? So you have about what? Four block? Four block. You're dead. One, two. One, two, three. I'm gonna guess you went for two block. Oh, it only went for one. It's dead. <laughs> Whoopash! Hurled to the ground like a sack of potatoes. Now it's Ankylodocus' turn. He could kill me very easily. Ankylodocus versus Ankylodocus. No, it's not going to happen. Spineraptor's going to kill us. 
Are you gonna attack? Come on, you must attack now. Go for full on seven. Oh, a six will do too. So one block. Yep. Look at that. You way overdid it. I had no blocks. Hope you feel proud of yourself. So, Spider Raptor with that one block kills it in. There you go. And I can go for four reserves. Yeah, two hits kills it. Go on, Spider Raptor. Do slap it. That was one powerful slap. Oh, another sauropod. Oh, we should do sauropod teams. Do you remember that? When we did that in um, Jurassic Park Builder, we do sauropod teams. We do loads of awesome teams. You should leave a comment in below. Tell me what sort of dinosaurs you want to see. Because I've basically got them all. Um, and we can just like... I would love to get to the point where we've got three T-Rexes, three Spinosaurus. And we can have like a full-on Spinosaur team. Um, oh, God. Ah! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Come on, kill me. Go for eight. Go for eight and kill me. I want to see Ankylodocus's, Ankylodocus's special, or at least seven to eight move. I'm gonna call it special. Nothing. Nothing really. Well, I'm gonna keep on doing it. So come on, go for something. Another four block. Come on, go for eight. Just do it. Otherwise, Spanaraptor is gonna have to kill you. Because if I go for full on eight, you're dead. There's no way you're gonna block for eight or seven or six. Stop it! God, you know what it is? Okay, I'm switching to Ankylodarchus and it's going for a full on attack. It's going for seven. He's probably only gonna block for four. Let's do it. Yeah, there you go. I think three's killed. Yeah, three's killed it. Wah! Burush! Earthquake lands it's super effective. You did. Angelodarkus takes the victory. What could make this sweeter? The fact we get like 700 DNA, please. Or a legendary pack or a super rare pack, please. I'll take the legendary or the rare. I guess the rare will do. Come on, let's do it. Three, two, one, one. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. What are we gonna get? Nobody knows. Click. Oh my god, we got a mystery pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would probably rather have 700 DNA. Oh, 140. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess the building's okay. But that is not bad at all, really. Uh, I mean, I would have preferred something better. We'll do another one. Um, we'll do an amphibian team. Let's do it. Let's just do a full-on amphibian team. What, what can that do? Hmm. Well, that's good. We're against two two carnivores. That's really good. Awesome. The odds are will be forever in our favor. So you gotta go first. You can't kill me with one hit, so why even try it? Right? That's what I'm talking about. Listen to me, computer. How about you click this button and go give up? That's a good thing to do. <laughs> now you can kill me with two hits, so you probably should go for it. Do it. Come on, kill little Ichthyostega. No! Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep on saving. I hope you go for a block. Oh, you wasted it! You wasted it! Oh, you suck. You suck at this game. You're so bad. So bad, PC. I bet you can't hit me. I bet you can't hit me for three. Oh, one? Really? Oh, you were awful. Look at that. It was so bad, it froze the game. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Go for a full on attack. Oh my, I went for a way overkill. Yum! Bum. That's it, that's it, you're done for. Even with the Indominus at level one, you don't stand a chance, buddy. Your weakness is the water. Things that live in the water will kill you. Like my full on team. If it was big in water, it was probably bigger. No, oh, sorry, was it? It's something like, if it was on land, you can bet your butty it was bigger in the water. But what was in the water was bigger. So we're gonna go for a full on four attack. Yeah, even without one block. You did belly flop! It was paralyzed. It also fainted. It also died. T Rex, level 38. Pretty damn good. But he has to go for a lot to even kill me. He knows I've got no blocks. So, he probably will go for a kill. But, that's gonna take most of its goes. So, the clever thing to do would not be attack. But, it goes for the attack anyway, leaving two for block. And I'm pretty sure two attacks from me can kill it. 
Yep, it's dead. So even if we went for two blocks, which it didn't, or did it not have that extra belly flop? Who's yabba? And there you go. Wow, that was so easy. Yum. And Fibonator made light work of you. Okay, cross our fingers, cross our toes. What we're gonna get? I know. I don't. It's gonna be something good though. <gasps> well, I can't. I can't say no to 140 DNA. I cannot say no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So should we go for a full-on carnivore team this time? What's my best carnivores? Oh, I was gonna say I've lost them. Velociraptor should be there. Spinosaurus should be there. T-Rex should be there. They ain't. Um. Ooh, let's do that. Let's do this team. That's quite nice. Sukumimus, Ostrophagosaurus, and Dimetrodon. Yeah, that's nice. And then we'll do a herbivore team and a flying team. I like Sukumimus. They haven't updated its uh, its like picture, but now he's got more of a bubble on the end of his nose. In the picture, it's just completely slender, but now they've added a little bump, and I quite like that bump. So, ooh, zing! No, you're playing for the other team, and a level 40 Allosaurus, yes! Oh my god, that looks awesome. So, again, we're just gonna save. Meet shield off one, and then have the other one to just have blocks and attacks and save. Just give ourselves the ample opportunity to calculate what they might do, outcome of the battle, and just do the best, as long as we've got goes to do that. I don't like having no no room to do anything. Please go for two block. Oh yeah! Oh, this is easy. <laughs> this is really easy. Come on, what are you gonna do? Come on. Go for three. Go for three. Come on, I've got four now. I get the feeling it's not going to though. It's not going to. Oh, it goes for two? Why? It wasn't enough? So you got one block. Okay, then one, two, three. What? Faster in the one block, and then three reserves. Like, look at that. What was the downside of him going for attack? It took off one of my turns to have for the next one. Otherwise, it would have eight instead of seven. But it's dead, so that makes no difference. Now it doesn't have the advantage. This thing has 75, probably 76, maybe 77 attack on me. So it can't kill me in one hit. It has to go for two. Look, it's even scared! Brings in the Allosaurus! I don't blame you! Goes for one attack, that will kill me. Wow, oh, that was a powerful tail slap. Buster Frickosaurus. Frickosaurus, what's he gonna do? I don't even care. It went for two, right? There you go. Wow, that was easy. Slappy slappy! And uh, poor Stegoceratops is dead. I mean, it could go for four attack. Could kill us, I think. Yeah, it probably would kill me for four. But then Dimetrodon's gonna clean house. So it goes for three? Um, alright. <laughs> like, why? Why save one? That makes no sense. Why? Do you think that one's gonna save you from a full on. Raging Frickosaurus. I got an answer for you. It's not! Puny, puny defensive wall. And that is another one in the bag. Cross our fingers, let's go! Get it! Ah, oh, don't tease me like that. Don't tease me, it was well. I was closer to getting the other coin than I was the super rare pack. So now we're on a... We're done. Oh, we need herbivores. Now we need a herbivore team. Uh... Oh, you need uranium! Another five bucks. Did we get bucks in the last mystery pack? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. He's very tired. Probably spent all night last night just eating himself. A Quetzal, a Dimetrodon. Oh, we've lost. <laughs> yes. We have very much lost. We're against uh, two carnivals. Um, you know what? But I'm going to try my best not to lose because this Dimetrodon cannot kill me in one attack. It can, however, kill me in two attacks. So, oh dear. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, it doesn't. Thank God. Please go for blocks. Please go for blocks. Yes. One will do. Even just the one. I just need to kill it. If I kill this Dimetrodon, it's gonna bring in Quetzal. Then he's gonna waste a turn uh, switching in the T-Rex. 
Because he's not going to want Quetzal in against all these herbivores. Awesome, awesome. Let's keep it up, keep it up. Guys, I bet you've, 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 we've all been in this situation before. Let's do this. Let's show the system how to beat it when all the odds are not stacked in our favor. Let's do it. Five. Okay, this thing's being very silly. Um. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Is it best to kill it? You know, I think it's best to just kill it. I'm gonna say it's went for two blocks. Yes! Awesome! It's always safe just to factor in an extra two. Yum! Pecky, pecky! And then it checks to see if you're alive. It's like, are you alive? Did you die? Oh, are you dead? And that's okay, good. Right, now it's only one carnival. I don't mind if Quetta gets seven, because its attack is half, and it's probably gonna switch anyway. So already. Oh, it goes for five? Oh my god, it does kill us. It had seven, so it's got two blocks. Right. Now, thank god it hasn't switched it, so it's got two blocks. And now I'm just gonna f just save. Just gonna save. Oh! Oh, it went for a full on save. Okay. Right. What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? You're not gonna attack. I know for a fact you're not gonna attack. You mean you attacked last time, you crazy bird? Yeah, there we go. Here comes the switch. Okay, go for three. Doesn't, doesn't. But I need, I need to kill this T-Rex as fast as possible. So I'm gonna factor in a two block. Oh, he only went for one, yes! Oh my god! Power through all of us! Ah, oh, gets the instant replay, takes out T-Rex. Didn't stand a chance, all those teeth. Doesn't matter how many you got. Because I got probably quite a few actually. Power through probably had a lot of teeth. <laughs> I got not more. Okay, you got six. Go for full on six, kill me. Bring in Super Source and then it can kill you. That's right, you're scared, aren't you, buddy? Well, I don't care, I've won. I'm gonna go for full on attack. Three, yep, you're dead. First Rolifus gets the double kill. Wow, I thought I was well and truly done for. But then we didn't even need Super Source. We could have done it too. My God. And there you go, just copy what I do and hopefully you'll do that every time. Ready? I'm gonna click on the mesh. You can see the little mesh bit that comes up. Ready? Gone? There it is. Gone? There it is. Okay, right, let's try to click it on it. Ah! It's not gonna get the super rare, but we're gonna get the ten, uh... Ten dollars. Ten bucks. That's basically made the last two sessions free. So we got free DNA, free coins. Probably that free mystery pack, actually. Wow, Supersaurus? Sorry, Ankylodocus, how were you ready? It takes you 24 hours to gather coin. How does that work? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with it. Put in Guanlong! And the final one, which was a team of all flyers. So it has to be Peck Out Your Eyes. Quetzal, Tro Tropogatharus, and Peck Out Your Eyes. It should be okay. Should be. Uh, herbivore is a bit of a problem. The Coolosaurus looks quite nice, just regular, like, in its regular stage. I was gonna say regular evolved, it ain't even evolved, it's hybrided. So, yeah, this, this though, Uranium's the only one I'm a bit worried about. So, again, we're gonna go for the tactic where is save. Just save as much as you can. Probably have Eco Killers in two. Oh, thank God it doesn't go for it. Because if it did, we'd be we'd already be one down, and that that sucks. Because we we need we need I need all of these. I need every last one. Don't go for three. Actually, if go for three or one, not two. All oh, that or zero. Zero is good too. Okay. If I can take out Urania, if we get an eight, I would I would just sacrifice um, Quetta just to kill it. I would. Oh, oh trope. The weird hybrid we've got. I don't even know what it's called. Skullhead! Skeletor! Rah! So it went for six. Was that a full on six? Did it waste all of its goes? I think it just did. Okay, right, we did lose Quetta. That's not great, but this has more attack. Um, so now I can like full on go for a kill and go for reserve. Yes! Oh, I was hoping I hadn't miscalculated. 
Oh, it goes to the eyeballs. Just every Pteranodon just loves it. Oh, look at it. Oh, that looks so cool. I love it just brown. It's really nice. I don't want to see it all ravey colors. So, Coolosaurus has 160 odd attack. Spinosaurus, however, has a lot more. So, I'm going to kill. I'm just going to full on go for the kill on the Spinosaur. Because, oh my god, he went for all reserves. It just leaves the Coolosaurus who's got the disadvantage. Oh my god. That was a bad play on their part because they were hoping I wasn't going to attack and they'd get Spinosaur with like eight or seven. But now it's this thing, which has the disadvantage. You can kill my bird. Kill it. Pick out your eyes. It's going to come and kill you. Three. Oh, it's enough. So three, four, five, six, seven. He's got four, actually. He's got four for a block. Right, I'm gonna play it cool here. I'm gonna play it cool. Yep, I thought so. I thought he went for a full on four block. And if he did, I've got an extra two in attack now if he goes for reserves. And I think two attacks can kill it. Yeah, two's definitely killed it. Pick out its eyes! Is. Kill it! Yum! Poor little Cordosaurus didn't stand a chance. And there you go. Oh, beautiful. Again. Sort of, it was an even match, really, because they had the advantage as well as the disadvantage. So, three, two, one, think of a good prize, hold it, hold it, it! Ah, why did you think of food? Why did you do it to me? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to use it. I think I had 14 million food at the start of, start of this episode. Now I have 12 million. But that was because I fed up Ankylosaur and Diplodocus and Ankylodocus to like the max I could so that sort of makes sense but if you like this video leave a like and until next time I'll see you later bye bye